Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, what's up? My name's Courtney Marie and welcome. Love to have you here. Why not hit that subscribe button and stick around? So today's video is going to be a little bit of a Kmart haul um, and a little bit of a sports girl haul. So I went to Kmart yesterday and picked up a few things and sports girl were also having a little bit of a sale. So I also did some damage there. Um, this makeup look is a testing essence makeup video they recently launched a new collection and i decided to do a first impressions video on it so that should be my last video i will link it down below or up in the cards for you guys so that is this look but let's get into today's haul video i'll show you what i got and yeah keep an eye out for these products in a review um in the future what i got from kmart so I picked up a few things from OXX. Uh, so the first thing I picked up is this OXX Studio Lamish Control um, Pore Minimizing Primer. So that is what it looks like. It is a soothe and hydrate pore minimizing primer. Create the perfect base. It's got vitamin B3, vitamin E and C in it. 30 mils of product and I think this was around six or eight dollars. I also purchased the OXX Studio Blemish Control um, Hydrating Alcohol Free Pore Reducing Setting Spray with Vitamin E and C, Cucumber Extract, Tea Tree Extract, Chamomile Extract and Vitamin B3. So that is what that looks like as well. I am gonna open all this stuff up once I get it out of the bag. Also the OXX Blemish Control um, Mattifying Drops prevents excess shine, absorbs excess oil, creates the perfect matte base. Looks like that. I really wanna smell these products. I also have the OXX Studio Fit Active Beauty Sweat Resistant Cooling Primer. This has vitamin E, cucumber extract, and Jehovah seed oil in it. Um, also from the Fit line, I purchased the uh, eyeliner. So it is a liquid eyeliner. And finally from Kmart, I purchased the um, Banana Rama palette from BYS. And yes, so this Banana Rama palette was $8 for this little guy, which is really cute. Um, it's been a long time since I've purchased a BYS palette and I really wanted to test this little guy out because I really liked the color scheme. So let's open up some of these primers and see what they look like. So this is the oil control setting spray. It says it has tea tree extract in it. It doesn't smell too like strong. I I'm gonna spray this on my face. All right, so it feels really hydrating. The mister is a little bit violent as you can see like the speckles on my face. It doesn't smell like tea tree, which I'm a little bit disappointed in, um, but I will have to do like a fully dedicated wear test um, on this stuff because I do have oily skin. So I will try and do a wear test to see how my oils hold up. Um, so I have the blemish control primer. I just want to watch this so the packaging for this is really cute um, I think it has a little seal on it so the seals actually been broken but no product has been squeezed out so I don't think it's been used but the seal is broken let's just plop a little bit out So this smells really nice. It reminds, it smells like another primer that I've used before. 
um, but it is just a silicone primer. I thought that it might be something new and exciting, um, but it does feel like a silicone-y primer, which is all right. Up from the blemish control line was these blemish control mattifying drops. So that is what they look like. So they do smell the same as that pore minimizing primer. So it has like dried down super quickly to a matte finish. So I'm interested to see how they go in the skin. Um, if you want to see me do a dedicated video on this blemish control line and see how long it holds my oils at bay, do you let me know because I will be happy to do so. Um, but yeah, so that is the three products from the blemish control line, two primers and a setting spray. Um, if you want to see me do a video about those products, let me know. I'm going to swatch this cooling primer on my hand to see what this feels like. I really like the packaging for this. I think it's really sleek. So this smells like really minty. It really does cool as soon as you apply it to the skin. I'm really excited to test this one out. Um, I live in a really hot, humid climate and I just really, really would like, hope that this actually does do what it says in terms of being sweat resistant. Um, and the eyeliner, I'm not gonna open up today because I won't be able to do a video on it. Uh, look, I don't think I'm gonna do a video just on these two. I'll probably use them in a video, but not do a dedicated one. So I'm gonna swatch this on my hand if I can get it open so it does have a little ball in it which I thought was really cool so this is the sweat resistant formula liquid eyeliner pen oh wow so I think this is actually a brush instead of a felt tip for an eyeliner that is so affordable that is like the most control I've ever had I literally just wrote my name with it it is so most oh, most eyeliners are like a felt tip not a brush so but this has individual bristles I'm really excited to see how this goes I might actually try and apply some now um, or I don't know I don't know how comfortable I am at just doing liquid liner I feel like I'm gonna completely mess it up you guys know how bad I am at doing liquid liner especially with no eyeshadow to hide Such a big wing. There's literally no way that I'm going to be able to replicate this on the other side. So can I just do the video with one winged liner? Is that acceptable? This is like the best eyeliner I've ever used in my life, but I'm still really bad at eyeliner. 
Oh, okay, I'm gonna try and make it look the same on this side. Um, and I'll come back. So I added some mascara um, and a little bit more bronzer to my eyes. This is the liner on Do They Look The Same? No, they don't. But I really, really like this liner. Um, it's really good. So definitely, definitely excited to test that out a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I'm a little bit proud of myself for just like freehanding some wings because I'm really, really bad at wing liner. <laughs> Into this packaging, I've like ribbed it and ripped it here, but I cannot get into it. This is what the looks like. Moving on to what I got from Sports Girl. I have this big old bag of stuff. So let's dive in, shall we? Was a setting spray. This is the all day spray rose water infused makeup setting spray. It smells like roses it smells really good and i got it on sale everything i got was reduced and then a further 25 percent off that um as well so is there a receipt in here yes no that's not the right receipt is this the right receipt oh yes does it say how much all right, so it doesn't actually say how much I paid for these products, but everything was on sale. So I got that setting spray, um, and then I got like a bunch of palettes. I got um, this eyeshadow, Dreamy Eyeshadow Palette, which looks like this. And I got this because I really wanted like a cool tone, um... Palette and this is like literally completely cool tone so that is why I got it I see it I like it I want it I got it that was the cringiest thing I've ever done in my life all right so I wanted like a cool tone palette and this is basically all grays and silvers and i'm really really excited to play with it because i've been loving cool tones lately so that's why i got it it was reduced i think it was like it's originally 20 dollars, and it was down to like 12 or 10 dollars, and then 25 percent off that so i got it for really cheap i also got this eye shaded honey palette which actually has like honeycomb packaging um and i really liked the look of this one i swatch this in store um so whenever my now fiance comes shopping with me and we go into a makeup store she will like dedicate her arm and give it to me and then i will just swatch all of this stuff on her arm and yeah she's my designated um arm swatcher so yeah literally she will walk up to me and it's so cute because she doesn't know anything well she knows a lot about makeup from me talking about it, but she doesn't wear makeup. She's not a makeup type of girl. And she will literally like see me look at something. She'll pick it up and like swatch it and put it on her arm and be like, this is how it looks. So yeah, um, we were swatching these palettes in the reduce section and she swatched this gold and she said like, that's a pretty gold and I should wear it and put it on my eyes because she think I would look pretty. Um, so I bought it basically for that reason but also because i really liked these peachy colors and i thought that these colors as well were quite cool tone for this palette um so i'm really interested to see how these shades go um and it's also honeycomb themed which like like i really just appreciated because i really like honeycomb and i really like bees um not like i really don't like bees i'm really afraid of them um, I've never actually been stung by a bee or a wasp before and it's one of my biggest fears because I don't know um, what it feels like so but I really like bees because I like honeycomb and I love how bees look because they're just so cute and they sit on flowers and just be themselves Wow I need to go home but um yeah so I'm really interested to try this palette as well
illuminating palette. This is the On The Glow Ethereal Light Illuminating Palette, um, which looks like this. I'm really excited to test these out. They look really sort of creamy. I might put a little bit on right now, I think, just to give it a go. So I did have enough highlight on, but now I'm just like beaming. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to have a play with these. They looked really good and I've been eyeing this off for a while and then it went on sale. So I think it was like $9, 25% off that $9 as well. So absolute steal. The last three things I got from Sports Girl are also palettes, and then I got two things from um, Big W as well. So I got this palette. This um, is like sort of a dupe for those Milani palettes. So this is what it looks like. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging, but the shades were really pretty. I swatched them in store, and I'm excited to test that out and I also picked up these two palettes so these were $9.95 um, and then a further 25% off that so I do have the um, I do have the watermelon version of this and these are obviously dupes for the Kylie Jenner uh, little palettes that she did so this says eyeshadow palette on it and these are sort of marketed as like an eyeshadow palette an illuminating palette and a blush and highlight palette and i think they probably did that for like copyright reasons to not get sued or something but for me that is more of an eyeshadow palette than a highlight palette and then we have this one which says bronze and blush palette. Um, but again, for me, that's more of an eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna use them as eyeshadow um, or like a multi-tasking thing. But I just thought these were so cute. They're so small. And even if you did use them as multi-tasking palettes and you just took these on holiday with you, they're so compact that I just really, um, really am a big fan of these palettes. So that is what I got from Sports Girl. And then also Big W are having a sale and I did get requested to review these two palettes. So that's why I purchased these as well. So I purchased the Lemonade Craze palette and the Cherry My Sherry palette by L'Oreal so I did get requested um, through Instagram DMs to review both of these so I will be doing that um, I did realize when I bought this home that the um, the glue in my palette has actually come out so the shades are just sort of chilling on this plastic thing the pans are very interesting in this palette. Um, how much product do you get in here? So you get 12 grams of product um, in this, but the pans are literally like non-existent. They do go underneath, so that is why they're flat. If you can see, um, it's hard for you guys to see. But you can see that they do go underneath. So I'm sort of happy that this came undone so I could see how big the pans are. But like this palette from L'Oreal, 17 grams and it has more shades. So 12 grams for an eyeshadow palette is all right. Um, but yeah, the glue in my palette has come undone. So my shades are sort of just chilling in there and um, they hit... The sides so they're a bit damaged um but you know 
most people don't hold their palettes like upside down so uh, when it's sitting like this it'll be completely fine and I also got the L'Oreal Cherry My Sherry or whatever it's called um, which I got requested <sighs> to review so I'm gonna swatch it because I haven't actually swatched it yet oh wow so these shades feel super buttery and they've really pigmented um, but these were on sale as well half price so for all of this stuff from sports girl I spent $40 which is ridiculous because usually those eyeshadow palettes are $20 each and then these ones were half price as well. So usually they're like $35 and I only paid $17. So um, huge savings for me. It was literally a steal and I couldn't pass it up because, you know, I did need some new things to review for you guys. And the fact that you requested it, they're super pigmented. I'm really excited to test that out. Um, but I think that's everything that I got in this haul. Uh, I'm really excited to test everything out. I'm actually really love this eyeliner. It's probably the best eyeliner that I've ever used in my life. I really struggle to do wings and this was like not expensive at all. How much was it? This was $5 and it's a brush tip eyeliner with a ball in it and it was five dollars like honestly that's ridiculous so yeah, this is like the blackest most amazing wings i've ever done in my life because i suck at them but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and subscribe i am on my way to 500 subscribers and my goal for the end of the year is to hit 1k so if you know someone that is lurking and watching my channel and not subscribed or if you're that person please hit that subscribe button because i really want to get to 1000 subscribers that would be absolutely amazing and i'm gonna do a giveaway when i hit a thousand subscribers so hit that subscribe button turn the notifications on and just stick around and be a part of the family that we have going on here so i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video